Welcome back for another instructional video here at Peninsula Ford Lincoln and Owen Sound. My name is Corey Feenstra and today we're going to review the 2021 Ford ST Ford Performance Explorer with the Atlas Blue exterior. Let's check out the video. Cost to upgrade from a limited Explorer to a Ford ST is going to be $8,865 plus tax Canadian. Right away we're going to get that 3 liter V6 turbocharged engine with 400 horsepower and 415 pound foot of torque. It's also going to come standard with a trailer tow hitch which does have a capability of towing up to 5600 pounds. We are going to get sport tuned suspension, uh, body side inserts that are black just on the bottom rail here instead of chrome like you'd get on the limited and then we've got the uh, blacked out skull caps as well this vehicle's got the uh, st street pack so we got the upgraded 21 inch rims and uh, the upgraded brakes as well so i will put a picture in the video of the standard rim type that you would get with the st upgrade uh, you're also not going to get any roof rails uh, roof rails are standard in the limited not on the ST and then of course we get that nice blacked out grill with the ST badging in the bottom right hand corner and the Explorer blacked out badging there on the hood as well. So I mentioned the street pack, that is a $1,500 option, which this Explorer ST does have. That's gonna give you the 21 inch uh, painted aluminum blacked out rims with the red calipers and front and rear upgraded performance brakes. Let's take a look inside the ST Explorer. We do have leather trimmed seats. This does have the uh, second row bench option. You can also get console as well. So this seat's seven. You can get a six seater as well. Uh, so you can see we've got the white stitching on the side. Uh, you're also going to get the auto dimming rear view mirror as part of that ST upgrade. And you can see the steering wheel is a lot more sporty. It's a little more bolstered at the top, more of a grip. You've also got those paddle shifters behind. That is also part of the ST performance upgrade with the badging and the steering wheel. And you can see the white stitching, and then we've got the ST badge uh, on the sport bucket front seat. All right, we've teleported into the front seat. Just want to show you a little bit more of the ST badging on the front of the steering wheel. All this black... Uh, all these black inserts across the top of the steering wheel. We've got that nice carbon fiber look all the way across the dash and then some more black insert there. And then if we take a look inside the door, we can see that nice Ford Performance badging. You get that on the driver and the passenger side. Also, as part of the ST upgrade, we are going to get the park assist option. Uh, so you push that button and the vehicle will find a spot on the left or the right, depending on which way your signal is. And then you can see in the bottom there, we've got parallel park out, parallel park in, and perpendicular park option as well. So as you can see, we've got a 10 inch LCD portrait style display. That is part of that uh, premium technology upgrade package. You'd get an eight inch LCD screen with just a base ST, but we've got the upgrade package on this vehicle. You're also gonna get two additional speakers to go along with that premium Bang & Olufsen speaker system. And then you're also gonna get multi-contour seats. Hard to see down there, but there's a little button. I push that and that it's turning on the massage function for me. We've got driver and passenger massage as part of that package and that is a $1,500 upgrade. You can also add this beautiful twin panel moonroof. It is $1,750 plus tax Canadian. Adds a lot more light in the vehicle, makes it feel a lot more spacious. This is a nice vehicle. There's a lot of standard options that come with the ST. Mention them all in the upgrade from the limited to the ST. I will link that in the description so that you guys can see the breakdown. Uh, but you know, you've got things like adaptive cruise control, lane centering technology, 360 camera, which is nice, reverse sensing, uh, tons of space in the back power fold seats in the back great for a seven seater vehicle if you just want to ride it as five put the seats down you got lots of cargo space as well anyways i appreciate you sticking around to the end of this video again i'll put in the description the breakdown of the street pack the performance pack and the upgrade from the limited to the st and if you're interested in seeing content like this week to week i do post every week please subscribe to the youtube channel ring the bells for the notifications like the video for me helps me out a lot and we'll see you next week